the current uh, situation, um, the current uh, research uh, done about Flash. Then we are going to talk a little bit about the problem that all uh, current um, attack vectors share. Uh, we'll then uh, introduce a technique uh, we discovered uh, that overcomes uh, this problem. We'll show a real-world example uh, demonstrating this uh, technique. Uh, and then, uh, if uh, time permits, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, testing uh, Flash applications. Okay, so before we continue, how many of you have Flash installed on their computers? Raise your hands. Okay, so that's great. Uh, so that uh, matches uh, Adobe statistics according to... Okay, so this uh, matches Adobe statistics uh, that says that over 99% of the internet-enabled PCs are actually have uh, Flash installed. This is more than Internet Explorer, actually. Uh, uh, Flash was introduced by Micromedia uh, a while ago, and it was then acquired by Adobe, uh, which is promoting Flash technology in uh, a lot of its uh, development application. We see that in uh, more uh, uh, advanced technologies such as Flex and Adobe Air, which uh, makes use of the same action script, the same scripting language that uh, Flash uh, used. Uh, ActionScript, uh, the first two versions of ActionScript were pretty similar uh, one to another, uh, while the third one, which Adobe has uh, introduced, is uh, more object-oriented and contains much more uh, uh, programmatic uh, features. Um, okay, so uh, uh, the, the fact that uh, uh, Flash is so popular is uh, because of uh, mainly two reasons. One of them is because a lot of web developers tend to use uh, Flash uh, instead of other techniques like uh, JavaScript or uh, HTML, because a lot of web developers are more familiar with Flash and they feel more comfortable using that, even though they could use other uh, technologies. And also, uh, we tend to see uh, a lot of uh, Flash ads embedded inside uh, web, uh, web um, applications, and a lot of people are not aware of the security risks that, that uh, those um, that those Flash ads uh, pose. Uh, so we'll talk a little bit about the uh, basics of Flash. So uh, there are actually two ways um, uh, someone can actually access uh, or, um, or place uh, Flash applications inside his uh, application. Uh, the first way uh, to access Flash application is uh, just embedding it inside an HTML page. This is done uh, like uh, this example here. And uh, the Flash is actually just embedded inside uh, the HTML page as an object. Uh, what will actually happen is when the uh, browser will render this, it will analyze the, the object tag and uh, it will actually contain a small part of the browser which will uh, be hosted uh, for the Flash player and the Flash player will be in charge of everything that you will see there. Uh, so this is uh, how it works and this is one way to, to access Flash files uh, by uh, embed embedding them inside uh, the H an HTML file. The second way to do that is by uh, actually directing them, uh, accessing them directly. So that uh, when I browse to a specific URL of a flash file, what will actually happen is that the entire flash file will take the, the flash file will take the entire uh, location with the height of the window of my browser. And this can be done uh, in different ways. Uh, some of the browsers, such as Firefox or Google Chrome, will actually automatically create an HTML file and have this uh, embed tag with the source of the location of the file that you actually browse to. So this automatically generated HTML file will be the, the HTML that will be shown on your browser, but it will only contain the flash file uh, that you serve to. So this is an example. Um, OK. OK, so um, in order to understand Flash security, we need to also discuss another uh, feature that uh, Flash has. Now, as you mentioned before, Flash uh, can contain a simple uh, scripting language called, act called ActionScript. Uh, now, this scripting language, uh, as other uh, scripting languages, can contain uh, global uh, variables. Now, what's unique about ActionScript is that uh, these global variables can actually be accessed and uh, s assigned from outside the movie. So this is an actual, uh, actually an um, ActionScript um, piece of code. You can see the little icon there. Uh, we placed uh, these icons throughout the presentation. Uh, so this is actually uh, a very common use of uh, these uh, global flash uh, variables. Uh, the developer checks if this uh, parameter is, uh, is defined. Uh, in case it is undefined, it, is, uh, it gets a default value. But if it is defined from outside the movie, uh, it will actually uh, get uh, this value, and uh, this value will be used uh, throughout uh, the code. 
Uh, and this is very uh, useful for uh, Flash developers uh, to change the behavior of the Flash movie according to, uh, to uh, input uh, gear assigned from the outside, from the HTML page. Okay, so how do we assign global variables to the Flash? From the outside, we would like to pass this, uh, the content, the values of, this, uh, of these variables to the Flash itself. So uh, we have uh, uh, three techniques to do that. Uh, the first one is by direct reference in the movie. And if uh, we'll, we'll browse to the location of the SWF file and add a question mark and, and parameters in the format of the HTTP parameters, what will actually happen is that the Flash player will automatically define global variables called A and B uh, with these uh, specific values. And this way, uh, the, the logic of the flash file will be able to use those parameters. Um, the other two ways for, uh, for assigning global uh, values to global variables use the, uh, the uh, flash file which is embedded inside the HTML page. Not like in this example, which, is, uh, which we browse to the, uh, to the flash file uh, directly. So the first one uses, um, uh, it's pretty similar to the, um, uh, to the first one, only the name of the movie now contains the, uh, the URL format with the uh, question mark and the variables separated by an uh, ampersand. Uh, so these variables are also injected uh, to the movie. And uh, the third uh, technique is, call, is uh, called the flash vars. Uh, this, is when, this is when we use the, uh, the flash vars attribute that uh, the object uh, tag has and we place, uh, and we place the, the the variables inside the flash valves attribute separated again by ampersand. Okay, so uh, uh, a little bit about uh, flash security. There has been a lot of research uh, throughout the past few years on flash, uh, and specifically, there are some work done last year by Stefano Di Paolo, uh, Italian researcher. And if you do not know the, them, it's the last two ones. Uh, we really recommend them and uh, just download them from the net. They, they're really interesting. Um, all of the, most of the research that has been done uh, actually talked about what could you do if you were able to control these global variables. So for example, if I'm able to control the global variable, I can perform a phishing attack. Uh, let's assume that uh, you have a, a, a website and a, a flash file and w with an item in it, and when you click it, your browser gets redirected to a specific uh, URL. If an attacker will send you a link with that specific, with the same flash file, but will override the global variable that is being used inside this flash file, you will actually be able to change the location where your browser is being redirected. Uh, controlling global variables can actually change the content of the flash file. It can perform uh, 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 flow manipulation attacks to actually uh, change the, the entire uh, uh, code that is executed by the, the flash player itself. Two main, uh, the two main uh, attacks that can, uh, can be triggered are cross-site flashing and uh, cross-site scripting through flash. Uh, these are actually two, um, two attacks that Stefano uh, presented in his uh, papers. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about them in the next slides. Uh, so the first one is uh, cross-site flashing. This is what happens when uh, a vulnerable flash movie is tricked into uh, actually loading a malicious, uh, a malicious uh, flash movie from a different uh, domain. And this uh, malicious flash movie can uh, receive access to the same sandbox as, as that movie. This is an example of, uh, of a piece of action script code which